right up. So we now have an interesting problem because incidentally two things first thing is um, from the original video that I made of um, putting this together in Vetric Aspire uh, I changed the roughing toolpath to a 3D roughing toolpath that's why this is following the contours of the lion and secondly um, we have now machined all the material away of the height of the material uh, that was originally you know the top of the material so now um, the interesting question is how do you find zero Z0 zero for this tool uh, two simple ways a you have a scrap piece of this wood and you sit on top of here and just set the tool on top of that and B if you don't have any material this size which was 42 millimeters what we're going to do is we're going to zero off the base material down here and raise it up in Mark 3 to 42 millimeters and re-zero it there okay so with our pendant we'll bring it down slightly bring it the right way, bring it forward then in the Y and then a little bit more manageable knock the speed back in the Z and take it down until it just touches the material now I can do that by eye I can actually see the shadow from the light over there and the light behind me and it makes a bit of a crosshair on here and when that crosshair shadow meets the end of the tool I know that I'm right there I've just touched into the material there so I'm going to set that as zero so we're going to set that as zero now in mark three for the Z. So we're going to fetch it up 42 millimeters that's as near as 42 millimeters as we need to be so I'm going to reset the zero
Okay. One very deep 3D line. So I hope you've enjoyed watching that video today because it's taken me two weeks to make it with breakages of the machine, well not breakages, I had an electronic problem with the machine which is on I think the previous video to this and of course for two weeks we've had terrible weather here snow and hail and winds up to 80 miles an hour hence the damaged head <laughs> so anyway we got it finished and uh, this is of course was uh, put together in Vetric Aspire and uh, I do recommend any of the Vetric uh, products uh, I'll leave a link down below this video to go to uh, their download and uh, their pages where they explain about I think they have about six uh, different uh, programs at different price levels so uh, they have you know they cater for the the beginner uh, all the way through to the, the professional so uh, I hope you've liked the video today if you have please press like and subscribe and I would like to take this opportunity to thank my patrons it is the patrons behind this YouTube channel that uh, keeps it going and uh, if you'd like to become a patron uh, there's also a link uh, down below this uh, video once again patrons thank you very much for your support and indeed thank all you viewers for your support viewing my videos uh, so the next video not quite sure what it's going to be probably a wood turning but uh, never, you can never tell <laughs> so again thank you for watching and uh, it's bye for now <laughs>